A patient on Long Island is making medical history. Doctors say he is the first in New York to be cured of sickle cell anemia. As Jennifer McLogan reports, the patient is pain-free for the first time in his life. Sickle cell was like a blockade for me, but it now it's just like a wall that I just jumped over. <laughs> For 21 years, Sebastian Bozil suffered chronic pain from debilitating sickle cell anemia. He's now making medical history in New York State. The cliche, the future is here, is actually true in this case. We uh, feel blessed to be able to offer, be the first ones to be able to offer this. Groundbreaking lift Jenny a treatment used Sebastian's own bone marrow in IV transfusions to create normal red blood cells. When we could use Sebastian's own uh, stem cells to do this therapy, we were delighted. Sickle cell disease was described in modern medicine in 1910, and here we are over over 100 years later, and this is the first cure you're seeing. To the Med4 team, the hematology team, the transplant team, you guys have really changed my life. In the United States, sickle cell anemia most commonly affects people of African, Mediterranean, and Middle Eastern descent. Cohen Children's Hospital hopes to target those communities with this life-altering therapy. Sebastian been coming to this hospital since he was two months old. There is not enough word to show you how grateful I am. Sebastian will soon be able to travel, work out, and focus on his education. He hopes to work in the medical world. Amazing, and I can't wait to get back to my day-to-day -day life because now I feel unstoppable. From New Hyde Park, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York. That is truly amazing, and we wish you all the best, Sebastian. By the way, today, civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump announced a $100,000 donation to Northwell to further the health system's efforts to treat sickle cell disease.